Hello, and welcome to the JWST Exposure Time Calculator. In this video, we will show you how to use the batch expansion capability in the ETC. Batch expansion presents a convenient way for you to create copies of calculations with one parameter changed, such as number of groups or integrations, or the filter, dispersive element, or chronographic mask. We begin in an open workbook on the Calculations tab. A mirror imaging calculation has already been created with the number of groups set to 10. With the calculation highlighted, open the Expand menu at the top of the page. We will first demonstrate batch expansion for groups, so select the Expand Groups option. This brings up a dialog box where we will, see, we will set the start value to 11, leave the step size at 1, and set the iterations to the maximum value of 10. Click Submit. This automatically creates 10 new calculations in the Calculations pane, each with a different number of groups. You can see the total times increasing in the time column. We can go through the same process to expand over integrations. First, make sure that the original calculation is still selected, then go back to the Expand menu. This time, select Expand Integrations, and fill in 2 for the start value, leave the step size at 1, and set the iterations to 10. Click Submit. This will create 10 more calculations, each with a different number of integrations. We can plot the signal to noise ratios for all the calculations by clicking on the checkmark icon in the calculations pane and selecting All. All the signal to noise ratios are now shown in the plots pane. Move to the SNR vs. Time tab to see the signal to noise values as a function of time. You can see that the slope of the line for the calculations with higher numbers of groups is steeper than for those with increased integrations. This is in line with the recommendation that the number of groups be increased before increasing the number of integrations. Since batch expansion is an easy way to quickly create more calculations, you may find yourself hitting the maximum limit of calculations in a workbook, which is 50. To easily remove a large number of calculations, check the box for each calculation you wish to delete. We would like to delete all the calculations in this workbook, so we'll leave all the calculations checked. Now go to the Edit menu at the top of the page and select the Delete Marked Calculations option. This brings up a dialog box asking if you really want to perform this action. Click OK. We will now demonstrate how to expand over filters with a near cam short wavelength imaging calculation. Click on the calculation and open the Expand menu. Select the Expand Over Filters option. This creates a new calculation for each short wavelength filter. Selecting all calculations and looking at the SNR tab in the Plots pane shows the signal choice values plotted as a function of the central wavelength of the filter. Now let's move to a different workbook with a MIRI MRS calculation. As you can see on the Instrument Setup tab, you can select different channels and wavelength ranges for this mode. In the Expand menu, there are three batch expansion options, Expand Channels, Expand Wavelength Ranges, and Expand Channels and Wavelength Ranges. To create calculations for all 12 combinations of channels and wavelength ranges, select the third option. This is a convenient way to create a calculation for each channel and wavelength range combination and ensures that all the parameters are identical. The batch expansion method also correctly sets the wavelength of slice, eliminating the need for the user to set these by hand for each calculation. When the calculations are complete, you'll have signal to noise estimates for MRS observations from 5 to 28 microns. We can view this by selecting all the calculations and looking at the plots pane. This concludes the video on batch expansions in the ETC. If you'd like additional information on how to use the JWST ETC, see the links in the description for this video. Thank you.